As emergency medical services are spread thin in Hawkins County, a committee is working on some solutions. Welcome back for News Channel 11 at 530. I'm Josh Smith and I'm Sarah Diamond. The EMS Exploratory Committee was appointed by the county commission earlier this year to find ways to improve the stability and coverage of EMS. Jackie DeFusco spoke with the group's chairman about what improvements they plan to recommend to county leaders. Jar Sarah, after a private ambulance service left the area and another agency went under, I'm told Hawkins County EMS has struggled to sustain adequate coverage. The chairman of the EMS Exploratory Committee says new equipment and a new organizational structure could change that. After a car accident and a heart attack, Dr. Blaine Jones says he wouldn't be here today without Hawkins County EMS. I think the citizens of Hawkins County need that. They need to know that they have EMS services available to them. Jones is the chairman of the EMS Exploratory Committee, charged with making coverage in the county more consistent. You can have all the ambulances in the world, but if you don't have staff to put in those ambulances, they just sit idle. About six years ago, Jones says the county commission began requiring Hawkins County EMS, a nonprofit, be granted a franchise before continuing operations. So that means every three years, private providers have the chance to take over. It caused instability because the guys didn't know if they were going to have their jobs. That's why the committee is recommending the county end the franchise requirement and enter into a joint venture with Hawkins County EMS. Jones says this way, the commission could help cover the cost of more staff and ambulances. Probably to get a better response time, we need about nine ambulances available 24 hours a day. Obviously, Hawkins County can't afford that. So we settled on six, and we're still stressed at six because we don't have the funds to keep the one open at Sigourneville right now. A life safety committee is also trying to find funding to put AEDs in every police cruiser and volunteer fire vehicle. The equipment could save a person having a heart attack if an ambulance isn't available. Anytime that you have a chance to obviously just save one life, I mean, that could make a difference. So if it's something that would help with that, then yes, we would definitely be on board for that. Now another recommendation from the EMS Exploratory Committee, teaching EMT courses in Hawkins County High Schools to help with staff shortages. Director of Schools Matt Hickson says they plan to start next semester. Josh, Sarah. Jackie, thanks. And Dr. Jones will formally present the recommendations to the Hawkins County Commission Monday, October 28th.